Today I'm taking a look at the 7 Edison's 18mm f6.3 fixed aperture, fixed focus lens. It's basically a body cap lens like the Olympus ones, but the Olympus ones have focus. This one does not. And it's on the EFM system. So I've got the M5 right here. You can see very, very compact, especially the low profile. The build quality is metal, the actual mount, and it also has this little plastic thing adhesived onto the front that has information like the aperture and focal length. On mine, it's not perfectly centered. Well, it should be very simple to use. There's not much to it. You got your aperture, which is fixed. So you're just gonna do ISO and shutter speed. better gloves on. It's a little brisk. This definitely doesn't have the same minimum quality focus as, as a action camera for sure. I'm thinking this is going to be nice for going into the city. Of course my style is more so closer up stuff. See my action camera setup. I actually really enjoy the simplicity of this. So all I'm doing is adjusting the shutter speed. So you can see from here all the way up to there what is going to be decently in focus. Just how lenses work. It's not going to be perfectly in focus. It's going to fade in to, you know, what you consider acceptably sharp. All I'm doing here is adjusting the shutter speed as I need to get the histogram looking decent. When I was using this with an M50 for video, I didn't have peaking on, so it might have helped out. Oh wow, there is a huge amount of vignetting. We got some nice reflections here. Okay, I'm in the second area. Heavy reflections. Something like this would be really nice on the M100, M200 type camera, some of the older ones. So you don't need to care about focus and it's super, super compact. I sold my M100 a while back, so I'm kind of sad about that. Totally bomb that one. I do really enjoy the simplicity of this, but there are a lot of drawbacks. Maybe if they did have some type of little switch on here to shift the lens groups or something, make it more versatile. Definitely has somewhat limited use here. When the sun hits the side of this lens, you get weird, weird stuff. Let's take that ISO back down. Limited latitude at f6.3. Some things for the convenience and the small size. With a lens like this, nothing you do will change the vignetting because you can't adjust the aperture. With this lens, you're gonna to have to like what you get straight up. Which 
trying to utilize the lines, the shadows in the ground. Oh, wow. Is it low quality glass? What's going on here? I literally can't take a photo that direction. Didn't quite work out as I had planned, but we got some photos out of it.